<laughs> yes, dear. Thank you. <laughs> That's what good couples do, baby. Don't show any bloopers. Hi, I'm Chet Anderson, executive pastor at Calvary Baptist Church, and this is Claudia, my wife. What makes our marriage successful is the fact that we choose on a day-to-day -day basis to communicate clearly that we want to be married, we're going to stay married, and we're going to be open and honest with who we are with each other. I think communication is the key to our successful marriage. Just open, honest communication, discussing um, issues as they arise in our relationship and just discussing uh, everything, feelings, and everything that's important to us. Mm -hmm. When that all-important communication breaks down, when we get um, hurried and when we get busy and we find ourselves going in two different directions and we don't take that time to be deliberate about our communication, I think that we open ourselves up for possible conflicts. Yeah, I, I would say probably conflict happens most of the time when Chet wants what Chet wants and when he wants it and doesn't get it. Um, not clearly communicating uh, my needs or feelings or wants or desires in our relationship. We redeem conflict by what we call 24-hour rule. If you've had conflict, if you've been offended by something, you have 24 hours to bring it up. And if you don't bring it up within that 24 hours, it's finished through and done with. But if there was something important enough for you to address, bring it up, talk about it, have healthy conflict within the 24 hours to resolve. I think for me, um, learning the all-important tool of being able to say, we agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. And being safe by saying that, that um, differing opinions really um, don't have to cause conflict. But the 24 hour rule is also good because, you know, 24 hours is done. It's done and it's not, um, you're not able to bring it up again because you've either dealt with it internally mm -hmm. or you've dealt with it together, but you've put it away. I would say that I would want couples to know that, he, that marriage is a great opportunity to fulfill God's purpose for life. Um, appreciate the, the family members and each other especially, and appreciate them in such a way that you not only show them with actions, but you're using words that back up the actions, that you love them, that you're proud of them, and that you truly want them, the best for them in, in their life and their marriage. You know, a couple of years ago, Pastor Chad and the staff here at Calvary did a series of sermons on uh, live like you were dying. And one of the points of that sermon, or, or one of the sermons, was to um, keep a short list of wrongs. You know, we're not promised tomorrow. And I think you should use every day that God gives you to make sure that the people that you care about the most, your, your spouse, your family, knows exactly how you feel about them. Um, I know that in our family, we've um, at times been separated by lots of miles, and I want, always wanted my children to know, no matter how far away they were, how much they were loved and how much we cared about them. And I think just saying it often and uh, making sure that you enjoy every day as if maybe you might not have another one given to you because again, God doesn't promise us tomorrow. So use every day to make sure that all of your family knows exactly how you feel about them. <laughs>